So we'll be here at the ID Tech Hack show. Hi, so who are you? Uh, Phil Paul, Director Semiconductors for Mikudo. And uh, what we can see here is our human body detector. Here we can see uh, a product casing from the firm BioVision in Zurich. And if I twist this round, you can see here that we've put in some copper uh, traces. And these are connected to an IC here that is our human body detector. And this is simply uh, this is simply a RF connection to my phone. Uh, when I'm not connecting with a human, you can see that these are red. If you go on the table or something? Yeah, and if I go on the table, it's also red. But if I go on my hand, it is green. And if I go through my clothing, it is also green. So we have detected me. I can do it to my head as well. Put it on my head and you can see here that it's gone green, take it away, it's gone red. So, um, you have a, a sensor yeah. and a chip? Uh, yeah, this is a capacitive uh, sensor. Uh, and the good thing about this capacitive sensor is that it's less than one microamp uh, of current. And um, the voltage range is from 1.8 to 4.5 volts. Um, it, can it can function in switch mode which is you set a threshold and it functions autonomously or it can also function um, in uh, a mode where it communicates with a microprocessor. So we have these two modes. In addition to that, we can read out values of the capacitance. So we actually do measure capacitance. So that's um, a great um, advantage uh, to anybody using this if they want to read out the values. This is feedback we had from customers. So you, you can measure any capacitance on anything? Uh, well, yes, actually we can measure capacitance that the sensor uh, areas see uh, underneath them. How about so, the phone? Why do you put, you put it on the phone? Uh, I'm just you using check it. the capacitance on the screen? Yeah, here you can see these values. These are representatives of, of the capacitance that is measured. So, what if you, you put the sensor on the screen? Well, if I put it on the screen, you can see that it's also affected by the screen capacitance here. But so then the numbers are different. The, than the, the numbers human are range. different. The human, you can see here, the numbers are different. Okay. And uh, from your skin and the jacket is also different, right? Uh, a little bit different. Uh, that's the jacket, and here we have the human. So it's a tiny little bit difference there. So you've got a marginal difference. Is what this a, a world exclusive technology? Um, it's certainly something that we developed in response to what our customers wanted. Uh, what I can also show you, that's one telephone, but I can yeah. show you here. This is the same chip. We have this on a flex. This flex could be uh, put into an uh, earphone, for example. And this can be rolled around the earphone. So Where's the chip? So the chip is on the back side here. You can see the chip. That's a QFN. 3x3, three three. we can also supply this as a uh, chip scale package, which is very small, one millimeter by 1.4 millimeters by 0 0.6 millimeters, and that's a SMD solderable component. What I can show you now is here we have a, a plotter, uh, and it's plotting the capacitance that we see on this flex here. When I put my finger on here, you can see that we've got a, an excursion, and then when I take it away, you can see that there's no excursion. Then if I put another finger on the blue line, you get an excursion here. That's a capacitive sensor. And that can be used for an on-off switch, for example. And the other sensor channel can be used to detect a human. So that means you can, uh, if you put them on headphones, Bluetooth headphones, you can save a lot of power. Yes, you can, because this the main reason to have this chip is to save power. We use 725 nanoamps uh, continuously operating uh, twice a minute, uh, twice a second, sorry, checking uh, to see if there's a response or not. But it can also be faster, one can set this in different ways. Nice. And yeah. uh, your company, Microdual, you're doing lots of different things. Uh, what is this and this? Well, this is just a wafer of silicon. It's a small wafer, a six inch wafer. Nowadays we have eight inch wafers, but it's um, many small chips on there? There are many small chips on there. Each, like these? Yeah, yeah, these are small chips, for example. And here's a, a, an example here of chip scale package. You can see how small that is. And that is solderable, so that's a, 
uh, like an SMD solderable component. So these products can be um, used as SMD components. We also have a temperature sensor, uh, an example of which you see here. It's a, an e-ink display displaying the current temperature. There's a, a, volt, um, a solar panel here, indoor solar panel, uh, and the chip is actually here measuring the temperature.